is a love story. But it's a love story that you've never seen before. It's um, three couples whose lives are intertwined, but we're, we're looking not simply at the love stories between the couples, more of the way that they spir spiral around an idea of divine love that infuses their relationships. Isn't it better to simply choose to remain alone than to be left alone? My life now is altogether new. You have compelled me, Monica. You have drawn near. <laughs> It's a beautiful play that incorporates a number of different elements um, and all about getting to the heart of who we are as human beings and this nature, the nature of human love, you know, which is um, obviously so central to the human experience and to our complexity as human beings. And in this poor, frenzied flight, love springs from freedom as water springs from a rift in the earth. And so the jeweler is a bit more of a, of a mystical, mysterious figure who's kind of the, the source of all of the, the giving of love to the people, uh, to the characters. So he, the, the big metaphor of the jeweler and the jeweler's shop is, is really the source of love. He didn't say, do you want to be my wife? But <laughs> it's a play that you're going to laugh and you're going to you're going to cry. I've already cried and we're not even there yet. Um, and I'm working with uh, uh, just an absolute talented cast and production team. And so overall, it's just uh, it's an ideal production for me to be producing and directing.